And we are back live. ESPN's continuing coverage of the Tournament of Champions, and you are looking live at Kelly Kulik trying to make history today. Really, she already has, becoming just the second woman to ever make a PBA telecast. She is your number two seed. She's trying to become the first woman Thank to you. ever win a PBA event, much less a major. Rarefied bowling air that she is breathing right now. The only other who has really done it, Liz Johnson. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first, Kelly Kulik making some last-second preparations as she gets set to take on Mika Koivu Niemi, who will start us off. The winner to take on your number one seed, Chris Barnes. Nine strikes in his win over Page, including the last seven of his match. Mika was doing a little bit of that last shot in practice. I watched a lot of balls go high. You can see that Mika's chasing and moving towards the center part of the lane as the oil pattern breaks down. Had to only convert three spares in his last match, none of them of the challenging variety. No, you're right. The 2009 PBA Women's World Champion, 2007 USBC Queens winner, and 2003 US Open Champion from Union, New Jersey, please welcome Kelly Kulik. Well, Randy, you talked to her live just a few minutes ago. What kind of uh, impressions did she give you as far as her heart rate, etc.? Oh, there's definitely some adrenaline going right now. Oh, yeah! That will help calm some nerves. She's been... She's been so focused all week long. I mean, it's just incredible. No matter what adversity she faced, she just stepped up and got it done. You know, the last eight games of match play, she was in six. She, sh she shoots back-to-back -back 170s st to start the last block of the tournament. And when it looked like she was not going to make the show, guess what? She changes balls, bowls a couple back-to-back -back 270s, beats Serrano Page in position around here. She is on the show. Two six ten. Same thing Mika did on this left lane. Ball dress high. Leaves a 3 6 10. Not an easy spare to shoot when you're having trouble breathing. Three. Nice pickup on the 3 6 10. And here's Kelly on the ramifications, should she win a title? Frankly, they're unfathomable to her. As I'm sitting here talking right now, my heart is starting to pound a little bit faster. Um, the possibilities alone, what it would do for the sport of bowling, for the men's tour, for the possibility of a ladies tour, I, I can't even fathom that. Whatever happens today will no, by far be the biggest moment in my bowling career. And if I win, it will be a dream come true. Koivu Niemi. Heavy there in the Ooh. second. Ooh. So Mika had that great conclusion to his opening match, getting the last seven strikes in his win over Rhino Page. Now having some issues on the left and the right. His first open frame of the day comes in the third. Well, Rob, you talk about how many strikes he threw in the last match. In fact, he threw the last seven in a row. Well, then the players got a lot of practice in between games. The oil pattern breaks down. 
and because of the way the lanes played this week, that zone is now gone. Mika Koivuniemi is going to have to move out of the zone he was in in the first game. the move so his first strike of this second match of the day our cats numbers coming to us from the Kegel Training Center shows that Mika was around the eighth or ninth board throughout the entire match against Rhino Page that last shot he just threw there the 14th board so a good five six boards left for Mika here's Kulik her high score this week a 279 Perfect pocket hit. Her second strike. And Kelly found a home in that area of the lane. Her ball position right around the 12th board feeds it out to about 8, 9, 10. And she was able to stay there pretty much the entire week when nobody else could. In 2006, she became the first woman to earn an exemption here on the PBA Tour by finishing sixth in the PBA Tour Trials. And here she is, the first woman bowling in a major. Good shot. And watching Kelly most of Friday night, one of the things that impressed me the most about her game is how balanced she was at the foul line. And we all know that in any sport, good balance is key. It's vital. And boy, she threw shot after shot where she posted it up at the foul line and never lost balance. That's when you know you're in pure stroke. She drops the 10, remains clean through four. We mentioned Kelly, just the second woman to ever make a televised PBA telecast, the first. Liz Johnson. She did it in 2005, the banquet opened in Wyoming, Michigan. Beat West Malott, moved on to the title match, where she eventually lost to Tommy Jones. Here's Koivu Niemi to close out the fourth. Back-to-back -back jacks for Mika, now in the third and the fourth. First two shots of this match, the eighth board and the ninth board at the arrows. The last two are both at 14. Just a board ride, a third arrow. We talked to Mika yesterday about the fact that he has two daughters, and there is 